You wanted a big red button. One big bang. No more Time Lords? No more Daleks? Are you sure? I was sure when I came in here. There is no other way. You have seen the men you will become. Oh, those men. <laughs> Extraordinary. They were you. No. They were the Doctor. You are the Doctor too. No. Great men are forged in fire. It is the privilege of lesser men to light the flame. Whatever the cost. You know the sound the TARDIS makes. That wheezing groaning. That sound brings hope. Wherever it goes. Yes, I like to think it does. To anyone who hears it. However lost. Even you. I told you, he hasn't done it yet. Go away now, all of you. This is for me. These events should be time-locked. We shouldn't even be here. So something let us through. You clever boys. Go back. Go back to your lives. Go and be the doctor. I could never be. Make it worthwhile. All those years. Burying you in my memory. Pretending you didn't exist. Keeping you a secret. Even from myself. Pretending you weren't the doctor. When you were the doctor more than anybody else. You were the doctor. On the day it wasn't possible to get it right. But this time. You don't have to do it alone. Oh, thank you. What we do today is done not out of fear or hatred. It is done because there is no other way. And it is done in the name of the many lives we are failing to save. What? What is it, what? Oh, it's nothing. No. No, it's something. Come on, Joe. Tell me. You told me you wiped out your own people. I never pictured you doing it, that's all. Take a closer look. What's happening? Nothing. It's a projection. It's the reality around you. These are the people. You're going to burn. Well, but there isn't anything we can do. He's right. There isn't another way. There never was. Either I destroy my own people, or I let the universe burn. Look at you. The three of you. The gentleman, the clown. And you. And what am I? Have you really forgotten? Yes, maybe I have got enough gentlemen. Any old idiot can be a clown. Then what do I do? What you've always done. Be a doctor. You told me the name you chose was a promise. What was the promise? Never cruel or cowardly. Never give up. Never give in. You're not actually suggesting we change our own personal history. We change history all the time. I'm suggesting something far worse. And what is that, exactly? Gentlemen, I have had 400 years to think about this. I've changed my mind. But there's still a billion, billion Daleks up there attacking. Yes, there is. Oh, but there's one thing those billion, billion Daleks don't know. Because if they did, they'd probably send for reinforcements. What? What don't they know? 
This time, there's three of us. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, that is good! Oh, that is brilliant! <laughs> oh, yes, my dear fellow! Oh, yes, that is brilliant indeed! Oh, my word, I'm getting that too! Ha! I've been thinking about it for centuries. <laughs> yes! She didn't just show me any old future. She showed me exactly the future I needed to see. Now you're getting oh, yes. it. Oh, Susan, I could kiss you. Oh, yes. Sorry, did you just say Susan? So what are we doing? What's the plan? The surrounding Dalek fleets are surrounding Gallifrey, firing on it constantly. Sky trenches are holding, but what if the whole planet just disappeared? Tiny bit of an ask. The Daleks fire on each other and destroy themselves in their own crossfire. Gallifrey would be gone, the Daleks would be destroyed, and it would look to the universe as if they'd annihilated each other. <laughs> but where would Gallifrey be? Frozen. In an instant of time. Hidden away. Safe. Exactly like a painting.